What's happening everybody? I'm on a solo mission right now for pike and we may try to get after everybody's favorite fish to hate, the dogfish. And some people are starting to like it. So we're going to take a stab at the pike, maybe look into catching some dogfish. There may be an incidental muskie or bass along the way. I'm just excited to get out fishing here. So let's do it. All right, we're going to start out little EA-8S, single eight, killer corn, dynamite for pike. Those little single eight blades are awesome. See what we can get. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Man. <laughs> he came cruising out of nowhere and crushed that thing. That was cool. Not a huge one, but... Not a bad one to start out with either. Cool boat side strike. All right, that's a good way to start out with, or a good one to start out with, I should say. Go tell the bigger ones we're here. It's a little bigger. Yeah, that's quite a bit bigger than the other one. Another nice one. I will take those all day right now, but I know there are ones that are much, much bigger than that. There's a hit. There's a fish. There's a fish. Not a bad one. Not a big one though. Ooh. Thanks for the aerial show, bud. Oh, there we go. Good. A nice fish, but there are bigger ones. Oh, that's a nice fish. That's a nice fish. That's, that's a little better. That's a little better. Well, actually, we'll get an idea how big this one is here. Come on. 
Come on. Stop it. Hey, buddy. You're a nice one. Oh, nice. You're way bigger than the judge here. This is 33 inches, and he is way, he's like a 35 incher. All right. Thanks, bucko. Let's keep going up in size. I would like that. Might have to get the big bump board out. Oh, there's a good hit. That's cool. Come on over here, bud. It is cool how they come up and just crush this thing in the shallow water. We're only in about three feet of water. Nice fish. Long fish, not necessarily. Ah, he's not built too bad. Another good one. See ya. Whoa, that was a big fish. Dang. Oh. <laughs> All right, well, I'm not fancy enough to have a power pole, but I got an anchor. There's the heavy one. seem to like it right here so I'm gonna stay right here there he is I came back for it get out of there get out of there That's a nice fish. That is a good solid fish. Come here. Ooh, that was a close one. That is a good one. Let's Put a little water on the old bump here. Backwards, kind of, but well, he's just, he's a 34 incher, give or take. Let's get him back. Ooh. Ouch. Oh well. He was trying really hard to twist my finger off, but we kept it intact. All right, and a couple of nice ones there. Whoa! <laughs> that was a cool hit. <laughs>
All right, well, that was about a grand total of an hour fishing. I got eight or nine pike. There was a couple smaller ones in there, but a couple of nice specimens. Definitely that low to mid 30, uh, we were hitting that pretty easy. Uh, there's a lot of those mid upper 20s, they're still fun. But I'm gonna leave this alone. I'm gonna go check another spot and we'll see what we can find over there. All right, well, we've arrived at the new venue. Water's super clear, a lot clearer than it usually is. So we will get casting and see who's home. All right, well, after checking things out, there are a ton of fish back here. I've seen bass, pike, may have seen a muskie. Um, walleyes, there are walleyes everywhere back here. Um, so I'm gonna go with a one ounce Esox salt spinnerbait in everybody's favorite color fire tiger. Let's see what that does. What are you? Oh, look at that cute little doggy. We got ourselves a dogfish. Come here, bud. What a cool little fish. All right, not a giant, but, <laughs> huh, I don't know if that's his blood or my blood. I'm gonna guess it's mine. All right, buddy. Oh my gosh, they just have a iron grip. I don't know if he's going to give me my lure back or not. All right. <laughs> well, that was cool. I was not expecting that on a spinnerbait of all things. Cool. First doggy in the boat. All right, well, while spot two wasn't a bust, it wasn't great. So, um, probably because it was kind of windy. That spot is tough to fish if it's really windy. So we are coming back out to the first spot. We'll play around here a little bit, see what else we can find. Maybe we can get ourselves a bigger pike. And then we'll see what the weather gives us. It's isolated thunderstorms, so who knows, something might kick up. Hopefully the wind will die down. That will make life a little easier. And I'm in the weeds right now, so I'm going to start fishing. All right, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the first half of summertime pike fishing. Um, as I stand here in the stark reality of the Wisconsin winter that we uh, find ourselves in. Uh, but this video will have dropped the Saturday of the Chicago Muskie Expo. So if you're at the expo, if you're planning on going later today, come by the Chaos Tackle booth and say hi. Um, I'll leave... Uh, in the description, all the other shows that I'll be at, uh, helping out in the Chaos Tackle booth. Um, so please come by, say hi, love to talk to you. For those of you that haven't been around the channel too long, the videos drop every Saturday at 8.30 Central Standard Time. So if you like what you see, subscribe and we will see you on the next one.